Yep, okay. Now we're talking wisdom. It is NaNoWriMo Day 1. National Novel Writing Month, Day 1, November 1st. A lot of people were doing Halloween stuff last night. A lot of people were doing World Series stuff last night. And a lot of people were getting ready and watching the clock for midnight to come around so they could start writing, which is awesome and never, ever something I do. I don't, I don't wait till the middle of the night to write. But that's just me. If you guys have already written and you're already ahead, I commend you. But uh, yeah, so what is National Novel Writing Month? For anybody who's listening who's just curious, it is uh, the goal is to write 50,000 words in the month of November. We start at midnight and we go till midnight on the 30th. Um, that's 1,667 words a day. So at the end of the day, you should have 1,667 words. I usually start these daily podcasts with a certain sense of... Uh, community and let's go campers you got this we'll beat that slope together i'm gonna keep making better off dead jokes until i die i don't care who's seen the movie or not but i keep saying that and i keep and and then when the doldrums come like in week two when the excitement's worn off and you still realize you have 1667 words today to write a day that's when i slow down the podcast and start talking about boring crap. So I'm not going to do that. I'm going to talk about the boring crap now because you're excited about signing up for NaNoWriMo. If you want to sign up for NaNoWriMo, it is NaNoWriMo, nationalnovelwritingmonth.org. If you can't remember, you could probably just try to Google NaNoWriMo, National Novel Writing Month. You'll get it. It's a big thing. Sign up. You can join areas in you can join the forums in your genre you could probably join depending on who you are and you can join depending on where in the world you are or you could join depending on really exciting areas like my friend valerie does uh is is one of the people that runs the atlanta you know u.s southeast group And it's apparently really, really active. So if you're anywhere else in the world, but you want to hang out in the Atlanta group, go for it. But yeah, I haven't started yet. Did not decide what I was going to write until yesterday. Last night, actually. So uh, that was, (laughs) that's pretty much like me. Anyway, but the boring thing I want to talk about, I I wanted you guys to get set up before anything happens because I guarantee if you are going hardcore on your novel and it's day 11 and your hard drive crashes it will break your heart it will devastate you so I usually do the backup talk somewhere around the middle of the month I'm gonna start it now there is absolutely no reason you should not be backing up. That's a lot of negatives. I'll just start it over and say, back up your stuff. If you want to spend money, you can buy an external hard drive and then set it up on your computer. I don't know what to do for Windows. I'm sorry, but for Mac, you just set up the time machine. Connect your hard drive to the time machine, set it up to go automatically. You're golden. You could also purchase a a product that gradually upload your entire hard drive to the cloud and does the backup that way. Backblaze is the one I use. I believe Google also has a service called Google One where it'll back up your hard drive to Google Drive. I pay for that one too. I don't like losing my content. So um, if you are completely not in a financial place where you can do backups, then manually back up to Google Drive, manually back up to Dropbox. There is a, uh, if you use the Scrivener app, you can set automatic backups to upload to the cloud that's not on your computer. And at the very, very least, at the end of the day, take your file and email it to yourself or email it to a trusted friend or email it to your other email account. How many people do not have more than one email account by now? But mail it to you. So if everything else fails, you have your document in your email attachments. 
there are lots of ways to do it. And it's not a lot of fun to try to figure out how to do all this. It's, it's boring. It's admin work. But you know, I've been doing this podcast for 17 years and I say this, maybe I give the backup talk maybe once a year or so. And I know people who have listened to me faithfully and then I'll hear, oh, I had a hard drive crash and I lost everything. And I'm like, oh, so you weren't listening. This stuff, this stuff is serious. This stuff happens and it will break you if you do not have a backup. It's really, really easy to back up your stuff. Set it up now. Set it up today, especially if it's your first time doing NaNoWriMo and you're super excited. Don't let something like the hard drive failure or a browser crash or a toddler comes up and slams their hand down on your keyboard and magically hits the right button combination to shut you down without saving. Just get a backup system. That's all I ask. That's all I ask. If you are doing NaNoWriMo or you have questions about NaNoWriMo, I welcome you to come hang out and talk. I am going to be talking a little bit longer, but then I have to go write myself. I am doing, um, yeah, I'm working on a psychological thriller that is not, <laughs> it's, it, it's going to be based off of a video game that I know that is not any sort of murder thriller type video game. And I'm going to be filing off the serial numbers, as we say in fiction. And, um, but for now, I'm just having fun trying to take this idyllic setting and lovely characters and then throw a psychological thrilling murderer among them. So that's what I'm working on. And I've also got my new freelance job. It's going well, but it's going very busily. So I need to figure out how to balance two writing projects at the same time. That's not easy. But anyway... I love this time of year. It feels large and community centered and you get the feeling that you can do anything. You get the feeling that that dream, I know a lot of people, a whole lot of people have that dream of if I could just have X, I could be a writer. I'm sorry to say that X will probably never come. X might be the a lot of time off work x might be family's not so demanding x might be you get a good idea you can't wait for that stuff people have been able to write books with infants people have been able to write books with a day job people have been able to write books through a lot of stuff granted you may not go very fast but if it's something you're dedicated to now is a perfect time to start perfect time to try stuff out the amount of resources online that is free that are free i know subject verb uh, agreement the amount that are free is huge it's there there's pep talks there's stats there's a forum people are talking on the nanowrimo twitter page facebook metaverse whatever the hell it is probably has something i don't know i stay away from that area because it's scary um, any question you have about writing a book, either in November or any other time, the information's out there. Just go to nanorimo.org, or you could subscribe to my podcast, which is I Should Be Writing at ishouldbewriting.org. And, uh, yeah, there's just, you, you have no excuses. I'll do the, do the caveat because I hate absolutes. There's probably some of you out there who do have excuses, illness newborn, you're in the middle of a move. I get it. May not be right for you right now, but for most of you who say that you can't do it, try. Because you might find it fun. You might find it useful. You might find it invigorating. The biggest point about writing 667 words a day is you are not supposed to stop. You're not supposed to question. You're not supposed to wonder if that last paragraph was crap. You're not supposed to wonder if you should go back and start from the beginning because now you have a better sense of the plot. You're not supposed to delete anything. Good God, don't delete anything. 
You're not supposed to go slowly to let the pros, I don't know, whatever artists say that are really, really narcissistic. I'm a working writer, so I try not to let the concept of writer's block slow me down because I have to eat. So think about it that way. This is your deadline. The end of the month is your boss waiting for that writing thing you promised to do. Are you going to get it done? Are you going to try? Because if you try and you get like 30,000 words instead of 50, holy crap, that's 30,000 words you didn't have. That's a lot of words right there. There really is no failing NaNoWriMo as long as you get something written because it's more than you had and that's a win. I guess that's it for me. Blaseball is about to start in three minutes and y'all know I can't miss that. If you are new to me, go to ishouldbewriting.org or merverse.com to find out more about me and my podcasts. I'm going to be doing this daily on the Wisdom app. You can download that at wisdom.audio. Um, if you listen to me live, then if you want, you can come up on uh, the call with me. And one thing I love about this is that you don't need to install anything. You don't, well, you have to install the app. But I'm thinking you don't have to look good because it's audio. You don't have to worry about your setup because you're using your phone. It's just like calling into a radio show. And it's really easy on my end, too, which is why I'm so excited to use this app while I'm recording these daily shows because the production is what slows me down on the daily shows, honestly. But now I'm just going to upload it. Every once in a while, I'm going to upload John and Elio's song, NaNoWriMo, that I have the license for. I'm allowed to play it. I know the spiders don't actually listen to that part. but um, And when I can figure out how to put a theme song on here, I will do so. But that's it. I will see you tomorrow, day two. But remember, at the end of the day, 1,667 words, and you should be writing.